Hey everybody, just a quick video to announce the release of OpenXR Toolkit 1.1.2. It's now available on the website and it's always worth getting even though it's a minor revision change. It's still worth updating because the features always get better on this application. You may be able to tell right now that I'm actually using one of the sunglasses mode that's on the application so let me open up here and you can see my frame rate is doing very good 37 frames is not bad I have no issue with that at all and it uh, it just goes up when I'm higher and further away from the buildings of course you know you don't normally fly down here I'm in the Optica which is a helicopter bubble with wings <laughs> so the sightseeing opportunities in this plane are really really tremendous and yet you can see I'm still obtaining really good frame rates with it the jumpingness that you're seeing the jumping in, that you're seeing is actually a factor of the recording and something's going on with the steam VR which is how I, I fly I don't use the Oculus Link cable or the Air Link. I use Steam VR with Virtual Desktop app, which is an Oculus app, but I don't use the Oculus driver. I don't use the Oculus cable or Air Link. I use Steam VR with that Oculus app. I get much better performance. It's much more stable, much easier to work with. So, OpenXR Toolkit, as you can see, is 1.1.2. Again, not a whole lot of changes. I think there were some issues with some menus in some of the headsets that were fixed, and possibly some crashes, but I've not experienced those. The appearance, you can see I'm using the sunglasses right now. I put them back on light. I really like that. True Night is really... A nice feature as well it really improves the the image quality and the lights and everything of a nighttime flight and so other than that yeah I mean most of these settings they're really what you like they're gonna be what you like to have for your personal preference I haven't played a lot with these but I mean they're really gonna be what you want to have what looks good in your eyes, what looks good in your particular headset. Inputs, you got shaking reduction, which I've never had to use. You have the ability to override your resolution now. You have the colors, you have your field of views, which again, I, you can see they're all at 100. I've not changed with any of these yet. You also have a zoom. Again, I haven't changed that, but you can see what it does. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know if I'd really play with that for any reason. <laughs> yeah, and then, of course, just the menu settings themselves. So there you go, 1.1.2 OpenXR Toolkit. I am flying World Update 9 right now. I'm flying in the Italy region not sure where I think Barcelona is someplace on the other side of me behind me the or actually it might be on no actually it might be on the other side on the island Oop, over speed well there you go talking and not flying all right check out uh, open XR toolkit and try not to overstress your airplanes see you in the skies